Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box Unboxing. Today it's a limited edition box from Look Fantastic. It's the Summer of Skin Edit. It's £40. It's worth £130. If you're a Look Fantastic subscriber, you can get it for £30 using the code Summer Subs. And they say, get ready for summer with the ultimate SPF sun care and self tan collection to prep your skin for the rays to come. Featuring nine iconic products to give you that summer glow wherever you go. So this is really nice because you actually get a proper look fantastic box with this edit look. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous colours to it. Really, really pretty box. And I miss the look fantastic boxes. So I was so happy to get that almost as much as the products. Not quite as much as the products, but almost. Now there is a card in here as well with a little QR code on. Now that didn't actually work for me. I think it said something like sight and reachable. It may be that there was a little blip and it's fine again now, but I haven't tried it out today, so I don't actually know. Now, because of that, I couldn't get the information on the products. However, in the description, they do list the products and the values of them. So I've used that. And then I've also gone to the brand's websites where I can just to get a bit more information. So the first item in here is by Nukes and it's the After Sun Hair and Body Shampoo. It's 100 mils. Look fantastic, say it's worth £6.50 and you can get 200 mils for £15 from the brand's website. So I do think that that does seem like a pretty fair valuation. They say this leaves your skin feeling soft and your hair light and shiny. UV sunscreen, salt, chlorine and sand vanish under, vanish under its delectably, delectably scented creamy foam with notes of sweet orange, TR and vanilla. A feel good holiday sensation with each application. And to use, you lather over wet skin and hair, then rinse thoroughly. And it's ideal after the beach or swimming pool. So I probably won't be using it for that. I'm not going away this year on holiday. Um, if I do go, it won't be sort of autumn top, till autumn time, and it will be probably within the UK. So I decided I'm going to use it as a good old fashioned shower gel. As I can always do with loads and loads of those. And that's what I've tried it out as. Now, I'll show you what it looks like on the back of my hand, but pretty much it is just a gel, sort of lightish gel, sort of texture. And it smells heavenly. It has got a nooksy feel to it. It does remind me of summer, actually, but I don't know whether it's just because I happened to use something like that last year. There's an Oranginess, freshness, perfumed, quite a luxurious smell. I really, really like it. Now, to get the lather up, you did have to sort of work it between your palms for a while, I found, possibly because I do wear a lot of product anyway, so it does take a bit of work if you put it directly onto wet skin. Um, but that seemed to work doing it between my palms, getting a lovely lather up, and it did a great job. The smell of it didn't last too, too much afterwards. I was expecting it to be quite strongly lasting for quite a while, but it didn't really with me. Although I did, again, put some other stuff on, which we'll be getting to in a bit, actually, to show you what that is. But I'm happy with this. Personally, for me, it will be just for a shower gel, but I can imagine if you use it in your hair, it would make your hair smell really nice, and that probably would last for quite a while. Okay, the next item, now I've had this one before, is by Wren and it's the AHA Smart Renewal Body Serum. It's 50 mils, look fantastic, says it's worth £16 and this size is available on the brand's website at that price. They say a moisturising AHA body serum that takes body care to the next level by combining face favourite skincare ingredients to gently resurface and re-energise the skin's natural radiance. Skin looks smooth, more evenly toned and feels silky. Contains lactic yeast, lactic yeast, <laughs> I'm reading, I'm reading on, I'm doing my usual trick of reading then reading on, lactic acid and AHA from yeast, see, which helps to eliminate dead skin cells for a smoother texture and xylitol from vegetable bark, which helps optimise skin's water reserves for better hydration. 
and to use you gently massage it onto clean dry skin until fun, fully absorbed and they do mention that you must always protect your skin with an SPF after using AHA so you do have to bear that in mind when using these ones sort of on your body. As I say I've had it before it was in the cohorted January box where they did the collaboration with Ren. I haven't really used it a lot since then um, mainly because I guess it was winter wasn't it and I used it to sort of demo it and then didn't really need well, didn't feel the need for exfoliation really up at that point because my body was completely covered up the whole of the winter but I have got it out again today and had a go on my legs it's fine to use it is just like a body lotion but there's a very strong smell it smells of orange but it's a there is a particular orange it smells of I'm not entirely sure what it is there's a creamy element to it very strong though almost like a double concentrate orange squash or something like that you know when it's really really super super strong I'm not sure i'm that keen and when i put it on earlier today um it did the smell lasted very for a while on my hands and it wasn't my favorite smell so i'm not too sure i um i'm not sure i'll definitely be giving this one away anyway because i've already got it i think what i'm going to try and do is use it at the same time as maybe using a physical one so a physical one without the ahas in and the aha one together would be quite an interesting combination to try out so i think it's worth me having another go with i've just had a thought of what it reminds me of actually it reminds me of a sort of a trifle but with an orange jelly you know the sort of trifles you had when you were a kid not the the grown-up sherry ones but the sort of ones where they did orange jelly then a bit of custard and a bit of cream just reminded me of that suddenly that's why my my face probably went blank for a second there when i was thinking oh i know what that reminds me of anyway i will use it stop talking about food start talking about beauty right the next oh i did want to say it does have a nine months shelf life once open so it's not the longest of shelf lives once opened however i think i opened this in january so it should do me till the end of september and to be honest that's probably the only time i'll be using up to Right, the next item is by Mio or Mayo, and it's the Heavenly Body Purifying Scrub. It's 275 grams, look fantastic, say it's worth £25, and the RRP for this on the brand's website is actually £23, although it's on offer at the moment for £9.20. So lots of confusing information there for you. Right, they say our sea salt scrub is a moisture rich exfoliator that gently buffs the skin to give you a head to toe feel great glow. Deep exfoliation helps release surface cells, leaving skin beautifully bright and restored. And in terms of ingredients, they say a blend of Indian fig extract and monk's pepper berry gives you an instant sensation of well being and keeps skin feeling hydrated. And it also contains salt crystals these exfoliating particles help to produce silky smooth skin almond and coconut oils moisturize and hydrate the skin and they describe the fragrance as being invigorating with refreshing eucalyptus leaf essential oil now, i have had this before i had it last year and it is a really really good exfoliating scrub now i don't like the smell it's eucalyptus which is one of my absolute least favorite smells unfortunately i know lots and lots of people like it one of my friends loves it but i really don't like the smell however the texture of this is so good Ooh, i could smell it already just taking the lid off so the texture of it is just such a lovely one to use i think because the particles are so fine and lovely and it just is a great one to use. Smells awful. Do you know what though? If I'd have used that while I had my cold not long ago, I think that would have done me the world of good. Anyway, I am going to keep this. 
because as I say, it does a great job as well. It leaves your skin feeling really gorgeously soft. The next eye, now I've got that everywhere. I, that's the only trouble with scrubs. When you're trying to demonstrate them, they're fine, but when you try to get them off, they start flicking everywhere. So I'm gonna have to stop because I need to go and get a flannel or something proper, properly moistened to get this off. I'll be back in a sec. Right, the next item is by Vita Liberata and it's the Untinted Fabulous Gradual Tanning Lotion 50 mils. Look fantastic, says it's worth £3.75. 200 mils is £15 on the brand's website, so that valuation again sounds pretty reasonable. They say this is the perfect daily moisturiser for your face and body. It leaves skin hydrated and moisturised whilst pro prolonging and building a gradual natural tan. Now it lists an absolute ton of ingredients, including grape, licorice, papaya, pomegranate, raspberry, witch hazel, bladder rack, ginkgo biloba, marula oil, aloe vera, hyaluronic acid, and more. Prior to use, you need to ensure your skin is clean and exfoliated and don't apply any moisturizer. You massage into the skin in long circular movements using your hands on a mitt. If you use your hands wash after application, then you leave on your skin four to eight hours before showering. You can apply two to three times per week to prolong your tan and nourish your skin. Now, I have actually used this on my arms and reading that then just, um, it says apply two to three times per week. I applied it yesterday and today, so I didn't read that bit, did I? That's the trouble, I never read my own instructions. Anyway, I did put it on my arms. They, I think it's done a nice job. I have had this before. Now, it was in the Glossy Box Easter Egg, but the packaging was slightly different on that one. So I have used this actual one because I wanted to try out just in case it was different, but it's done pretty much the same job as it probably would do, wouldn't it? Um, but I think it's done a nice job. I do feel like my arms are looking like they do when I naturally tan. I don't go particularly dark. I just get a sort of this sort of vague tanned look about me. Um, and, and it does look fairly natural to me. So I'm happy with that. I think I, I mean, I use one, Bondi Sands is my favourite one. That's a, another gradual lotion one. I've been using that on my legs. Um, but the more I think, the better. I'm going to try and really keep it up this year so that I don't lose lose track. I did that last year a little bit. I'd do it for a bit, then I'd forget, then I'd do it again. Then I'm going to try and keep it up this year and see if I can keep my tan looking reasonably nice without having to go and top it up in the sun, which is probably not a great idea these days. Okay, the next item is by Isle of Paradise. And it's the High Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum for your face. So this is 30 mils, look fantastic, says it's worth £21.95, although this is actually £22.95 on the brand's website. And they say this gradual self tanning serum is powered by intensely hydrating superstar ingredient hyaluronic acid for plump glowing skin. Hyaluronic acid acts as a magnet for moisture and can hold up to a thousand times its weight in water. We boost this with our proprietary complex of grapefruit, chia seed and avocado oil so skin looks and feels more nourished and hydrated from first use and then continues to improve over time. And to use it, you apply 4 to 12 drops of the serum directly to the face, no need to mix. The more drops, the deeper the tan and it can be used daily and you do have to wash your hands after application. So I have had a go with this. Now there is a slight problem with this one. First of all, I could not open it. I tried and tried and it took ages. I couldn't do it, so I had to give it to someone else to open. Then when I did finally get to opening it, I noticed there is a very tiny crack in the top. So when I'm using it, I'm just trying to, have to block that off. But I have used it. I used it yesterday and today on my face. I'm going to try and get some out. But it is difficult, as you can imagine, to squeeze it up 
into the thing. I might have to put a bit of super glue or something on it. You can get get the serum into the pipette. It's just not as easy as it probably should be. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. So this is a really lovely product to use because it is another of those sort of two-in-one things. You can use it in place of your hyaluronic acid serum if you do have that as a stage in your skincare routine. And it blends in beautifully. And that's what I've been doing the last two days. After toning, I've been using this as my hyaluronic acid stage. And then, actually, I think after that, I've gone straight to moisturiser because the moisturiser I'm using has got vitamin C in as well. So I've just done two products, which is really good for me. I think it's made a difference. Now, I have had other self tan facial products in the last couple of weeks too that I have tried. So it hasn't just been this from nothing. But the last couple of days definitely seen a difference in my skin and I really quite like it. I think it's made a lovely job. I'm going to try it for the next few days and see how I get on. This is, I think, the third one I've had now. So I've had a spray one as well, which I do really like. And I've had a really great one, which has got SPF in as well, which is beautiful too. So I've been a bit spoilt, really. Hopefully, these will last a while. I think this one's got about a 12-month shelf life after opening. So that will do absolutely fine for me. But very happy about this one. Has it got a smell? Do you know what? There is a bit of a smell to this one kind of lightly fragrance lightly fruity maybe but i do like it it's a gorgeous product to use i am going to stop because i bet to go and wash my hands now like the instructions say i'll be back in a sec right the next item is by sol de janeiro it's the bom dia bright cream it's 25 mils look fantastic, say it's worth £10, although they do sell 75 mils on their website for £21, but with um, Sol de Janeiro, these things, these little ones do cost a little bit more when you compare them to the bigger versions. Look fantastic, says this expert emollient is formulated to replenish the skin's natural barrier with moisture whilst supporting its natural production of elastic, elastin and collagen. Infused with kapuasu butter and willow bark extract, this offers a deeply hydrating treatment featuring anti-inflammatory benefits to calm angry skin. It's also enriched with few fruit AHAs and vitamin C to gently exfoliate and improve the appearance of discoloration, as well as re-energizing skin with a healthy looking radiance. And the brand describes the fragrance as a blend of gourmand notes of black amber plum and dark yet sweet creme de cassis, mingled with vanilla woods, fresh jasmine blooms and a hint of musk. To use it, you smooth on daily, morning or night for moisturising and retexturizing benefits all over. It says for speedy results, you can use two times a day on areas prone to ingrown hairs due to hair removal, as well as bumpy, rough spots. So this one's actually quite a lovely smelling one. Not as good as me favourite bum bum cream, but not bad. There is a light pink one as well um, of the Sol de Janeiro. I don't really like the smell of that one, but this one's pretty nice. Um, I can smell it as soon as I open the top. I haven't, haven't used it. I've had it before though, so I know what to expect. I'm going to put it on, I think, my, the back of my hand again, although I've got loads of stuff on there already. Oh, it does smell nice actually. It's almost stronger in a way than the bum bum cream not stronger in smell i suppose just the the smells are stronger the bum bum cream is very vanilla-y can't get away from what that is you can't exactly tell what this is although there is an element of vanilla as well the texture of it is really beautiful i don't know whether i showed you that properly did i it's really thick and it blends in beautifully. But yeah, there is a strong element to that. Not vanilla, something else. I mean, the, the 
smells that they have described i to be honest with you i'm not entirely sure what the amber plum creme de cassis that's black currant isn't it or something doesn't smell like that oh it might do you know it might do yeah that might be what it is there is a fruity little element to it it's gorgeous though it really is nice i for some reason i had this a while ago and i think i was getting confused with the other one the light pink one thinking i wouldn't like the smell of it but i really 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 like the smell of that not as good as the bum bum bum, bum cream but not half bad okay the next item is by piz bruin bruin i can't say that bruin piz, piz bruin Moisturising lotion SPF 30, very useful. Full size 200 mils, look fantastic, says it's worth £15.48, although it does seem to be available from the majority of online suppliers for between about £6 and £7.50. Couldn't find it described in many places, but, um, or I could find it described in lots of places, but not look fantastic and not the brand's website. I couldn't seem to find that, or I might not have been looking properly, to be fair. Boots are selling it though for £6.50, and they say this moisturizing sun lotion with advanced UVA, UVB filters helps protect the skin from the sun. It's enriched with a strong antioxidant to help prevent sun induced premature skin aging. The non greasy, non sticky formula intensely moisturizes your skin skin leaving it smooth and silky soft and you apply generously and evenly before sun exposure reapply frequently especially after sweating swimming and toweling avoid midday sun and staying too long in the sun even while using sunscreens just doing my cautionary tail bit there um, this smells gorgeous this is the smell of summer i knew i'd overdo it as i always do but it smells so lovely. I don't mind. Oh, yeah. It does smell like a really good mm, sun lotion. Reminds me of being young again. So very happy with that because these are the sorts of things that you don't often get, do you? Like you're, you're just your normal sun creams you get the little ones maybe or you get the ones for your face but you know sometimes it's nice to get a decent sized one that you can use properly so happy with that not that you wouldn't use the other ones properly but you know what i mean okay the next item now this item is my favorite now there's lots of lovely things in this box this sounds silly because this next item is my favorite thing in the box but there is a reason for it Having said that, I actually love the majority um, of things in this box. This is why I love the box. Because it's the Aborian CC Red Correct SPF 25. It's 15 mils. Look fantastic, says it's worth £20.50 and it is available on the brand's website at that price. They say this is ideal for those with fair skin, prone to redness, formulated with green pigment pigments and soothing centella asiatica it immediately corrects redness for an even toned complexion it blurs skin texture to fade minor irreg irregularities and blemishes it also has spf 25 to protect skin against the harmful effects of the sun and to use you apply two pea-sized amounts of product to the face working outwards from the center they say they recommend applying with the fingers to ensure optimal transformation of the formula and the encapsulated pigments. You can use it instead of or after your day cream over your entire face, or you can just pick the specific areas you need to target. So this is what it looks like. And I have got mine here, which is nearly finished. So this is very good timing for me. And I've used it today. That's what it looks like. So it is green, which you would expect it to be, I guess. But what happens with this? The first time I used it, when you first put it on, it does give a very green sort of tint to your face. And you think, oh, no, I look like I've been on a very rough ocean on a ship on a rough ocean. I look like I, I wasn't going to be well. But after 
not very long at all. It kind of just blends in to your skin. And the redness might not be 100% gone, but pretty much for me, it works really, really well. Now, I, my redness is really on my cheek areas, but I do get it as well on my chin. Um, I can get it all over my nose as well. So I do suffer with that quite a lot. It's one of my big issues. You know, when people, some of the beauty companies say, what are the issues you want to target? And one of mine is always redness. The other is lines, of course. Um, but redness is a big one for me. So this I am so happy about because I was going to go and buy this anyway. I'd already made the decision. So I was going to run out of this one. I can't do without it. It's my favourite one I've ever had. So I've got a new one. So that's fabulous. I'm very, very happy. Okay, now the last item in here. Um, this is probably the one I'm not so bothered about. It's Disciple Healthy Boundaries SPF Lip Balm. It's worth £12, they say. But I couldn't find this anywhere online um, apart from in the description for this particular box. And I even checked out the brand's website, but I couldn't see it there either. Look Fantastic says, set yourself some healthy boundaries with this nourishing antioxidant SPF 15 balm with avocado and jojoba oil to keep your lips smooth and soft whether you're kicking back on the beach or relaxing in your back garden so this is what it looks like and it is just um my hands are really 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 covered in stuff now so that was really hard to open this is what it looks like it's just a balm nothing very exciting i haven't used it yet i did give it a sniff and i didn't particularly like the smell although it does smell of natural things i think i'm going to pause it a second take my lipstick off and give it a go i'll be back in a sec so i've put it on there's no particular sort of there is a sort of smell to it but once it's on your lips you can't nothing going on there i don't know i just I'm just not feeling this one. I think I had some really lovely lip balms last year, and that's probably why I'm just remembering those. It's okay, I'm sure it's fine. And you know what? We probably do need as many lip balms as we can get this year. Although there is one, I think it's in the Look Fantastic subscription box for this year, <laughs> for this month for May, which I'm going to film hopefully after this. Um, so that's probably why I'm feeling like that. I'm thinking I've already got one. How many do you need? Anyway, that's the end of this box. I really rather like it. First of all, you get your box. Very happy with that. Then you get the shower gel or the shampoo, which I think it would be worth trying it as a shampoo. And if you're going on holiday, it sounds like a great one to take with you. Then you get your um, the Ren product, which I think it, it is a decent enough product. I just need to make the effort to use that, I think. Then there's the Mio. That is a fabulous. I, I wish it smelled a little bit nicer for me because I don't really like the smell. But the texture of it and the feel of it when you're using it, it's really beautiful. Then there's the Sol de Janeiro product, beautiful smelling one, much better than I remembered, honestly. There's the gorgeous hyaluronic acid self tan for your face, which is a great sort of double step skincare thing. Of course, the self tan for your body as well. I think you can use that on your face as well, too, but um, I've been just using it on my arms. Then I've got lost completely the CC cream was that next and the balm so it was all oh, that doesn't seem a lot there should be nine products in there one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah decent little box I think yeah I'm happy with it and getting it 30 pounds as a look fantastic subscriber is more than worth it so hopefully it's still going to be there when I put this out and still there if you want to get it too. 
I have got another box to do now, which is the Look Fantastic subscription box for May. I've had quite a few boxes through. As you can probably tell, I'm feeling a lot, 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 lot better than I was. But I am a little bit behind, I think, on thinking about things. So I might be, I might not do so well this month with getting my boxes out. I'll do my best, but please bear with me. Anyway, I hope that you're having a fabulous here in the UK we are celebrating uh, the coronation of our king this weekend so we have another bank holiday Monday coming up and lots of exciting things going on I'm going to a um, street party don't get those very often here but every now and then we do I'm going to a street party to celebrate the coronation so that will be fun and yeah I hope that wherever you are, wherever in the world, wherever in the UK, wherever you are at all, you're having a lovely weekend too. Hopefully I'll get this up on Sunday morning, either Saturday night or Sunday morning, but I honestly, I don't know how it's going to work out because there's so much going on. But I'll do my best to get it out as quickly as possible. And hopefully I'll see you back here very soon. In the meantime, sending you loads and loads and loads of love lots of positive energy to take care of yourselves wherever you are. Bye-bye.